Hello everybody, my name is Hasty Swamper and I am back to bring you all season um season five, week two of the Universal Pokemon Association. For this week our opponent is the um Egg Haluchas, who is coached by Immortal Ments. And if you look at his team, he has Infernape, Vaporeon, Exploud, Rotomo, Spiritomb, the Fairy, Latios, Parion 2, Sneasel, Oxy, Scalopede, and Kling Kling. And if any of you are wondering, I sound a bit sick, so don't be too surprised. But yeah, I'm I'm sick, so just just know that. And I'm scared of Sneasel. So to start it off, when I looked at um Mensa's team, he only has like one defogger, which is Latios. So I decided I could probably bring Delibird, who is nicknamed Pizza Dude because delivers stuff. So I don't know, Pizza Guy, Pizza Dude, makes sense. And he has rapid spin and spikes, so in case he tries to set up um, hazards, I can spin it off. Spikes really um, hurt his team, and there's Destiny Bond too, which can come in clutch. And Ice Beam is where it's really there in case he leads off with the Latios. It's there for chip damage, it's not great with 65 special attack, but what are you going to do about it? It's like your best move. And Vital Spirit just prevents you from going to sleep. The only case I see that happening is if there's like a Pokemon with Yawn, or if there's like Hypnosis on Spirit Tomb, which I highly doubt will happen. So we won't have to worry about those things. But we just have it just in case. Plus it's dead weight. And Rapid Spin will miss anyway from it, so might as well run that. Now, next up, he has such a... Keldeo has such great coverage with just water and fighting to his team. If you just look at that team, the only thing which can like resist both is Mega Latios, and that's it. So because of that, if the Latios is gone, I can set up a bunch of Calm Minds with Keldeo and just sweep with Scald and Secret Sword. Substitute's there to protect the status and it gives me like one hit so I'm able to fire off another hit back so it really helps leftovers is there just so I could kept, keep it healthy and to let it make more subs so that's good now we're bringing Dimension doesn't sound that great but my voice my throat that kind of thing yeah so for Darmanitan we have Flare Blitz, U-Turn, Fire Punch, and Toxic, because it doesn't learn any physical grass moves or physical electric moves to touch Vaporeon, so I thought Toxic would be the best, and I can U-Turn out with, um, with Darmanitan and bring in something else to deal more damage to it. Now, Toxic's there to wear down walls like Pari- well, Parion 2 is gonna hate getting the Toxic. Um, Uxie, it does get healed though, but I don't think he's going to bring heal though. Vaporeon, also it's getting toxic, though it does have heal bell, so I have to be weary about that. But if that's the case, I just need to turn out. Now, Life Orb is all I need. I don't need a choice fan, because Life Orb, I still, like, 2 it KO everything. Or 3 KO. It, choice fan's not really a big game changer for Life Orb, so... Star Mansion. Now next up we have, we're bringing Taco Bell. Now Taco Bell is important because we need Stealth Rock. And Gyro Ball hits really hard on some of his Pokemon like Weavile and whatever that thing's called. Um, Scallopede. Yes, yeah, Scallopede is also a problem. Reflect is there so I can take physical hits better and I have Rest and a Chesto Berry. So... That's just so I'm able to um, bring it back up health. Now, the reason I'm doing the reason I'm doing this is because I'm doing this because 
Um, it's its only form of recovery outside of a cleric, and I'm not bringing Toja Tick this week. So, because of that, my best bet is to have Taco Bell. And I have Heat Proof, because he doesn't have, like, any real ground types. And he doesn't have a ground type, first off. And second is... I count, I count, um, what you call it? I count Scallopy, which gets Earthquake. The, the difference between Megahorn and Earthquake. Earthquake only does a little more compared to Megahorn. So I thought maybe Heatproof would be better, just so I have a better matchup against things like Infernape and the Hidden Power Fire. If he's packing it on his Latios, it's gonna do zero. And Gyromol just hits hard, so yeah, it would win the matchup. I know, Heatproof is weird. It's a lot of people would say Levitate, but against Mensa's team, I thought Heatproof would just be better overall. Now, next up, we have Sith, because Absol looks like something which could be like a Star Wars Sith. Looks like a bad guy with a red lightsaber, with that kind of design. So, now that I got that out of the way, we have Sucker Punch for the Latios. We have Knockoff, because when I looked at his team, he's pretty knockoff weak. Like, you can just tell from things like Clefairy, Porygon 2, um, Spirit 2, Knockoff Oko's Mega Latios, so he has very little safe switch-ins. And I'm sure Knockoff doesn't really have to Infernape. Vaporeon loses its lefties. Like, all these Pokemon don't like getting knocked off, so it really makes sense to run Sucker Punch Knockoff. Play Rough is there for the, um, the Spirit 2, and Baton Pass is just there, like U-turn wise, to switch out. Now, I'm running Super Luck as the ability, because the Pokemon's crit ratio is raised by one stage, so in that case, you're more likely to crit, which can be important. So that's why I'm going with um, Super Luck. So the EVs here are to outspeed Timid Explode in case he wants to run like a max speed Specs Explode. And I have 56 in the hit points just so I can take hits better. It's probably not going to change much, but um, let's look. Um, let's look at like, I don't know, Absol for a moment. Now, Knockoff does not half, jeez. So, let's say I have 56 in the hit points. Yeah, it doesn't change too much, but Sucker Punch does this much. Let's say I crit due to uh, Super Luck. I have a chance it's a roll to Oko with Sucker and Life Orb, so that's good to know. Now, Last but not least, I have Sigilyph. Now, Sigilyph is a choice scarf Pokemon with just four moves, Psychic, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Heat Wave. Now, I think I was tempted to change up the speed so I could get the um, Rotom Mo. Mo I could probably do that because there's not much which is faster and I could take it to better. Yeah, heck, I'll do that. Let me look at Rotomo. I'm gonna change the speed in case he brings like a choice scarf for Rotomo. So, Timid. 298. Okay. Now, how much does Sigma have? 322. So, in this case, we have 299. No, now we'll do 300. There we go. And, there, I should take it's better. So, that's like the only strong Pokemon I'm gonna have, have trouble at speeding. Now, Psychic is the stab move. It's super effective against Infernape. Um, Energy Ball is for the Vaporeon. It's not gonna do too much. Dazzling Gleam is for the Mega Latios and the Sneasel. The Heat Wave is for. It could be. It, this Heat Wave could hit Sneasel and it could hit, um. Whatever it is. Uh, Rotom Bow. And it also does a good chunk to put thing, so... <coughs> I'm not dying, guys, don't worry. 
So that's why I picked these moves. So I will see you all when the battle between me and Immortal Men begins. And who knows? Alright. Let's see. Now, the one thing I gotta hope for is no Sneasel. No, he does bring the Sneasel. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me just share this link to the group so that they can join us in a match full of fun. Now. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of Sneasel. Sneasel needs to go. G O go. So because of that. He has I don't know what he has. What I wanna do though. Is go into Delhi Bird and get my hazards up. I could probably do that first thing. So I'm just gonna lead off with Delhi Bird. He, he probably is fake out, so if he leads either Infernape or Actually no, I don't want to do that just yet, because I don't want to start immediately doing that, because Latios is there. I'll just go with the, um, Deli Bird. Because if I can get a few layers up, then we're good to go. that in, but I know I have the air conditioner on, I don't think it's going to be too loud, but if it is, um, I could probably drown out the noise with whatever music I put on. So, if he leads with a fake outer, that's a bit of a problem, but but even then, we just get rid of Deli Bird. And and then we have Destiny Bond, so he does lead with the Infernape. So because of that, I want to go into Taco Bell. But wait, close combat does over half, so. It's a little... Okay, what I would do here is I might just have to take this fake out. If he doesn't go for a fake out, then I would be intrigued. He has Mach Punch. Um, I don't know what he was trying to do there. That's a little absurd, if you ask me. But if, if he wants to do that, then... That's weird. That really is weird. Then, what I would do... We got a layer of spikes up. I wish we had more spikes up. I'm tempted to switch into, um, Delia Bur Into, um, Sigla, but it's probably Sash. Nope, he goes for the Mach Punch again. We have to get rid of, um, this... Thing anyway. Now, 346. Oh god, we speed tie. I don't like that. Alright, so all he has revealed so far is Mach Punch. What I'll do then is. I'll go into Bronzong. I am heat proof. This is heat proof, guys, remember. So, 
I want to go right for the gyro ball, just predicting the switch. But I feel like a reflect could really help. Let's go for the. Um, but Stealth Rocks does hurt his team, so he could either just gyro ball or go for the Stealth Rocks because. I would gyro ball thinking that he would try to switch in Sneasel. No, he goes into the um the Vaporeon. So I'll just get my stealth rock up. And he goes for the skull. I get burned, unfortunately. Oh no, that's actually not good. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. Oh wait, I forgot I have rest. What am I talking about? Don't worry guys, false alarm. Okay, in a case like this, um, I'm gonna go... I wanna go into Kelvio. But yet again, it's too early. He might go for a wish though, and if he wishes and protects, then that's like free momentum for me. I don't want him firing off the toxin. Is he gonna do that? He shouldn't do that. Um, this is a hard decision. He was, he was gonna go for the Scald again. Actually, that wouldn't have been a bad idea to switch into um, Keldeo, because my team's weak to that. But I think now it could be safe to go into the um, Sigilyph. But I want to get my Reflect up. Just in case he brings in a physical attacker. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. How much does Skull do? It's a roll. It's a roll. Alright, let's go for a rest. Do I want to go for a rest? Do I? Either now or never. Of course I freaking make the thing faint. Dang it. Alright. But... That gives me free momentum. Because now, I'm gonna get a sub up. What the flip? What? No, that can't be real. No way. No way. Synchronize? Dude. This is so weird. I don't even know what to say about that. That actually frustrates me to no end. Because now my freaking, um, my win condition is now ruined by synchronized Vaporeon. Like, who actually runs that? <laughs> um, man, this actually is annoying me to no end. Like, this is actually frustrating. Okay, so I'm I'm literally stuck right now because I don't know what the freak to do to his team. It's like he has the synchronized, and I thought this strat would work besides the um Eladios being in the way, but how? How does that like work? Like I just get a sub up against this thing? <sighs> Didn't mean to click that, I don't know why the freaking calc did that to me. Uh, synchronize. Synchronize. What? 
That does too much damage. This is such a bullcrap calc. Too freaking much. Alright, we're going into this thing. I swear if he switches. Good. Now, what he could do is he could go... He could go into his, um thing right here is um Latios. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna predict him to switch and go for a dazzling gleam. He doesn't go for the dazzling gleam. This is a problem. This is a problem right here. So but from this range I could probably take it out with um Dawn. Let's do that. But he has trace. But what if he traces a um a try attack? That's a problem. It's an actual problem if he does. I just I have to switch. I have to switch. Or else he can try to go into his um Vaporeon. I could predict that and go into Absol. I'm gonna do that instead. No, he doesn't. I am wrong. Of course. Well, this is at least a free knockoff. So, because of that, I'm gonna go right for the knockoff. He switches in Vaporeon, and this doesn't do enough. But, how much did that first hit do? Did that much. Um, I'm gonna baton pass into Sigilyph. Because he just went for the protect to try to scout me out. So, actually, I just want to click it again because nothing can take knockoff. Nothing. So, there's really not much sense into doing that. I have to, like, go right for the knockoff. And Infernape's not gonna like it. I know that for a fact. So, if I were him, I'd probably stay in and take it. But, he probably doesn't want to do that. Because, if he loses that, then I have Darm, and Darm takes a good amount of his team away. Yep, does exactly what I was thinking. But now my team is very weak. How weak? Um, yeah, Infernape has lost no health whatsoever. So a Sucker Punch is not going to KO with Infernape. In this scenario, he's probably going to bring an Infernape. But... Yeah, he'd probably bring an Infernape or Sneasel. One of those two. He brings an Infernape. Okay. So... I really don't want to sack off... Um, I don't want to sack off the, um, Absol, but I might have to. Because I can't let this thing, like, die, so because of that, I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. And I have super luck, so if the case happens that I get, like, a critical hit, then what they do I'm guessing. Actually, this is my, this is kind of my win condition for Latios. Oh my god, I forgot about Sucker Punch. Ugh. Man, I, I don't know, I feel so stupid at times playing this game. Like, holy crap. Alright. So, in this case, I'm gonna, I wanna go... Keldio, go for a Scald, because he might
might think I'm going to stay in. But he can just mock punch. Which is going to do a bit. Whatever, just go for this freaking scald. I'm not going to try to um, have second thoughts. Maybe if I don't have second thoughts too much, then... Oh my god. And I told myself not to go for the substitute, and I listened to myself. Word of advice, never listen to me. And I'm sure I could take a... I could take a Draco, can I? Tab, you didn't mean to see that. Uh, 306. Uh, Mega Latios. This is Latios. Come on, Calc. Get your act together. It's a roll. It's a roll. Um, this is driving me nuts. So, from here. I'm going to have to... I'm giving it up. I'm giving Keldeo up. But in case I live, I'll just Secret Sword. Let's see what happens. Like, this, this, this battle's going down and that could have been like a free sub right there. Do I want to go for the sub again? I might want to. I really wasn't expecting recover. I should have went for the recover. What if he- oh, did Draco take out Keldeo? Close. Close to taking it out. But if I screw up, Side Shot destroys me, so... Because of that... I'm gonna get a sub up. He does have the Side Shock. I shouldn't have switched out. I should have switched out. Um... How much did that, uh, Skull do? 20? Alright. Now, from here... I can predict the switch and go for a, uh, Psychic. Onto the... Freaking Skull beat. Do I want to do that? Yes. Do it. Just do it, Jack. No, just do it, Hasty. Do it, Hasty. Do it. Oh, nope. Looks like I was wrong again. But. Come on, you couldn't even, like. You couldn't even, like, do over 20. That's kind of sad. But Party on 2 is fat, so. I gotta get rid of this thing. Because. If I could bring in Dormanitan, I don't... Oh, I know I'm not winning, but I want to be able to take out a few more of his Pokemon. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Recover. Now, he might think I'm going to go for a Superpower, so what I can do is I can U-turn out. I didn't expect him to Recover. I might want to actually go right for the Toxic, but if I need to do more calcs before the freaking battle. Uh, where's Sig? You don't have a life orb, so that means... Where's 
psychic. That means he's like some form of specially offensive. I forgot if Darm was able to take it out after Life Orb, Life Orb, Life Orb. Where's the f where's the life orb? Come on. This is actually starting to frustrate me. There we go. No, I won't be able to Oko. You turning out. He doesn't switch. This actually frustrates me. He goes for another recover, of course he does. gonna go for do I wanna go for a dazzling gleam or is it not worth it? Not worth it. Yep, totally not worth it. Are you kidding me? 80% and he gets a critical hit. That's I'm I'm insulted. I feel insulted. Necessary. There we go, finally. Can I at least get a crit or something? Absol Super Luck wasn't. Actually, no, he got Mach Punch to death, so it doesn't matter. Crap. Yeah, that wasn't doing enough. Foul play? Hmm. Go right for the fire punch. And he's gonna bring in, like, he's gonna bring in the Infernape or something and just mock punch and I'm dead, so. So, GG to Mens. I prepped like crap this, um, freaking match, so. That's all I have to say. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. That is if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.